Welcome everybody. Thanks for tuning in to On Top and Hot. I'm your host today and every day, John Zadar. This is Wednesday, June 22nd. What we do here, we discuss penny stocks. I'm a day trader, so I'm seeing stuff all through the day and I just like to bring to your attention stuff that is jumping and bumping and catching attention. And I got some of those for us today. Now we are over here at the OTC Markets. This is my go-to site whenever I do due diligence on any stock, really. I mean, it's particularly perfect for OTC stocks because the SEC and FINRA update this site every single day. So the information you're finding is current. Why go searching through old information to find just the current? And they keep up with a lot of information on the New York Stock Exchange, the American Exchange, NASDAQ, and stuff like that, too. And if it's not here, well, then I can go out searching and sorting. But up until then, I just like to make my life simple. And that's what this site does. So how did we fare today on the OTC market? Folks, I'm excited. Fireworks, please. Do, 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 do. No, seriously, I'm excited. Look. 15.7 billion shares. I can't remember. It's got to have been four or five months ago, maybe about that. That's when we had this much share count before. Two weeks ago, we were at under 5 billion shares. And we have been falling since February 2021, not 2022. No, we've been falling for well over a year and it has not retreated, not at all. And now we have had a bounce back for at least 10 days now where it is getting more and more every single day. Yesterday we were at uh, what, 12 billion, uh, 10 billion? I'm losing count. That's what I'm hoping for. So we are seeing our share volume growing, folks. And that is going to make the game on the OTC an entirely different game. A game we can start to win at. Our trades actually fell today by about 70,000 and our dollar volume is actually down too. But you know what? I'm willing to live with these two. As long as that share volume keeps going up every day, we are going to be back in some deep water. All right, let's go take a look at the first stock I saw today. That was a monster on news I threw to the side when I saw it the first time. Oops. First stock we are taking a look at was impressive today. This is ticker CMGR Clubhouse Media Group. We've looked at this before because she's run before, but nothing like today. Today she was doing her impersonation of Babe Ruth. <sighs> Not just a home run, no, a grand slam. This stock almost had a thousand percent gains today at its high. She finished today at 00965, just a midge under a penny with 286% gains. She's on the pink tier, she's current, she does have a transfer agent verified, but we don't see a verified profile and we do want to see that. But as you can see, it did not hinder the gains of the day. So what does Clubhouse Media Group do? Well, they tell us here that they are a influencer media and marketing company with a global network of professionally run content houses, each of which has its own brand, influencer cohort, and production capabilities. They hire a lot of renowned people, people of reputation, to use as influencers for products and marketing. And today they had news come out, they had hired somebody else. I read this news, didn't think much about it, and boy was I wrong. It took off today. What was the relative volume around this company today? Well, she normally does just under 5 million. Today she did 324 million. You can do the math, it's big. Share structure, what do we have for a float here? Oh, goodness, I should have been prepared for this one. Okay, we got 173 million outstanding. Off the top of my head, I don't know. We could go search it, but sometimes that can be a little frustrating. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to look it up before I put this out. It should be right up there for you if I found it. If not, it'll just be question marks. So if it's there, you now know what it was. I bet it wasn't a low float because here it says the float is 6.9 million. Uh, I don't think so. First off, that's from 2020, which is why I don't use the float line. For some oddball reason, this is one place I don't find is current out of all the information that we get here. You can see up here, that's pretty current. That's just a couple weeks ago. All right, let's see what her financials are. She making any money? Yeah, she's making money. Last couple of years, she went from 1 million to 4.2 million. We know that because there's three zeros there we got to put behind here. 
Spend a lot of money though, 3.4 million of that 4.2 they got us pay out and they got left with about three quarter million dollars. What are their disclosures? Anything interesting here? I like to look for 8Ks that come out because these are like golden eggs. You never know what's inside until you look. And this is where you find your acquisitions, your mergers, change of management. A lot of good stuff is in there. We had one here about five or six days ago, but that's not going to be the reason it ran today. The reason it ran today was the news that came out. So let's take a look at this news. Uh, this is old stuff. This is back uh, February of 2021. Scroll on down. This is imported from what's online. Now, why the company isn't having it brought to the OTC market, I don't know. They do have that option to put their press releases here, but they're not making use of it. However, it was imported from press release uh, newswire here. And today's news reads, Clubhouse Media Group closes promo deal with Grob Granowski four-time Super Bowl championship. I'm not into sports, so maybe that is it. So I just totally overlooked this. This is the news. Clubhouse Media Group, influencer-based social media firm and digital talent management agency announced that they have finalized a brand promotional deal with Rob Gronowski. I'm probably saying that wrong. Through their partnership with the Ryman Agency. Rob is a four-time Super Bowl champion and five-time Pro Bowl selection. He previously played nine seasons for the New England Patriots, then two seasons with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Gronkowski has become widely known as a professional athlete as well as an entertainer, and he's made many guest appearances on different shows and on different events, such as the TV show Entourage, Family Guy, Shark Tank, and WrestleMania, to name a few. He also has a large social media following boasting 4.5 million on Instagram alone. Rob is as big a superstar as it gets. This was a great deal for everyone involved. We look forward to working on more deals with him and his team in the future. And that's it in a nutshell, folks. And it flew. So obviously having Rob on the team is a big deal. Let's go take a look at that chart and I'll show you how she was flying today. Make the Wright brothers proud. We're going to be doing all of our charting over here at my free trading platform, Think or Swim, also known as TOS. You need one? You want a backup? Just go on over to TD Ameritrade, sign up for a free account, Keep your account open. That's all you got to do. And voila, you got yourself a backup or you finally got yourself a trading platform you can use anytime you want. Absolutely free. So we are looking at ticker CMGR, six month, four hour chart. We got a high bubble back here of $2.18 and a low looks like yesterday of 0022. That is a huge drop, folks. You really can't see what's going on here, but the price is constantly falling. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Bear with me here. We'll try to get a picture. Zoom that out a bit. And I'll come in on it one more time. There. So you can see she has a pattern, but she also has a trend. She falls, has a big spike to hit that 50. Lots of days of falling, big spike over and over again but she has got a solid downtrend. There is no doubt about that at all. And today, she changed pattern with that news. Now folks, I didn't show you all the news, but they have got lots and lots of news about people they are hiring, lots of influencers. They're not lacking for news. Just jump on over to the OTC market, click the news button on this, and you'll see. But nobody has had a response like that. Maybe each one of these was somebody they hired. That would make sense. Absolutely would, because that's about how often the news presses are coming out. This would be the most popular one thus far. By a long shot. Lots of volume. It is, look at how tiny those price bars were here. Those are just teeth in your mouth. These are fangs. These are humongous fangs busted through the 50-day SMA as well above it on its way to the 200. Technicals were blazing first part of the day and have fallen back on the second part. Let's zoom in on that 20-day, one-hour view. So it's just a nice close-up of what we were looking at. Lots of tiny teeth bars here, and then huge rocket. Lots of volume compared to the days before. This is humongous. She shot through the 200 on the one hour so easy and surged all the way up here. Let's get a closer look at this pretty picture in the five-day, five-minute. So there you go. 
she's really doing nothing, right? She has been flat for a long time. And all of a sudden, she takes off. She takes off from a price of about uh, 0025. Let's just call this 25. Okay, just think of it as 25, and it goes up to 216. All right, so that is eight. That is over 800, almost 900% gains. And this ran almost to one o'clock in the afternoon. Boy, was this a beautiful morning for this stock. And the back half, boy, there was all the profit taking in the world. Didn't respect any SMAs, didn't slow down, just barreled through them all and is dangling right now in the middle of the air, far above the 200. Now this will fall down to the next closest SMA. Let's see if there's one on the 20 day because all of these time charts are in play at the same time. No, the 200 is way down here also. So there's a big drop there. Big drop, I see this is probably still falling. Technical show that she is getting stronger on the MACD. She's got a positive crossover working up. However, the RSI is very weak and pushing down, and the CCI shows weakness is coming. So I honestly would expect this to fall all the way back down to the 200 without a doubt. But there you go, folks. This thing was a runner today, made a lot of people some money, and I don't blame this, and that's not a surprise to see fall away at all. I know, I know it did not keep 50%. Draw a line at the bottom of the surge, top of the surge, find the center. You can do it mathematically or you can eyeball it. I'm going to eyeball it. You can see she was trying to stick around that 50% mark. If she can hang on to 50% of her gains, I'm confident she's probably going to continue to grow or at least hold. But if she comes below this, and I don't mean just underneath it like a monkey hanging on. That's okay by me. I mean if she falls away from it. Normally, they just go down to the next SMA, and that's pretty, pretty likely most of the time. So that's what it looks like, and after being flat for so long, I'm surprised it got that high. When you've been flat that long, I would have expected people to start taking profit real early in the game. No, no. These people waited it out the whole half of the day. That takes a lot of balls, folks, to see something climbing that you've been holding doing nothing. And it's going 100, 200, 300, 400, 5, 6, 7, 800 percent gains. Woo! This was exciting. So, we know that this company is always hiring people. Watch the company's news. They get another big name. You can expect another big run. I would anticipate that each one of those bounces we saw on the four-hour chart were probably people that they were hiring into their company. So there you go, folks. This was a monster today. Fun to watch. No, I didn't get into it. God, wish I had. All right, let me show you another stock that was interesting. The next stock we're taking a look at is on the NASDAQ. It's not on the OTC, but it does qualify as a penny stock. Any stock under $5, regardless what market it's sold on, is a penny stock. This is ticker WVE Wave Life Sciences. Finished today at $2.30 with just over 11% gains. Now, from what I gather, this company is a medicine company. They create drugs to help genetic diseases. I don't know much more than that. Now, there was no news today. There really isn't any catalyst, but there is a reason you should be watching this stock. And I don't know if anybody's paying attention, but I'm pointing it out to you because something could be around the corner. And I'll explain why I think that in just a minute. So what was the relative volume around the company today? Not a whole lot more, a little over three times. We went from 390,000 to 1.6 million. So maybe somebody is watching it. What is the share structure on this company? Outstanding shares is 61 million. I did go out and look this one up. From what I found, this is 57 million. So a pretty good float. We're not gonna call it a low float, but 57 million is not a high float by any means. Now being a NASDAQ company, we anticipate them to have money, and they do. Remembering those three zeros, that is $41 million roughly. And check this out. Not only did they double how much money they made from last year, but look it. Folks, it doesn't cost them one red penny for that money. Now, I'm, I'm a little confused about that. Making medicines, you would think there's a cost for 
hourly wages, the cost for materials, packaging. I mean, what is it? Digital medicine? I don't know how you go about not having to spend money to make money, but the fact of the matter is they keep every red cent that they make. Maybe I'm not reading that right, but that's what it says. Let's go take a look at those disclosures because that is where the information is at. We had an SC13DA here, not a whole lot of pertinent information there, but this four, Form 4 is a insider buy or sell of the common stock. And RA Capital Management here, a director owning 10% of the company, went out and bought 9,480,052 shares at $2.15 a piece. That is roughly $20 million worth of the stock that he just bought on the 16th. Now folks, the reason we pay attention to insider buys is because they have information in their heads that we don't know, we're not privy to, and they probably won't ever share. The only indication we get that something may be in the lurks is when they make a purchase, especially a huge purchase. And I think 20 million qualifies as a huge purchase. Maybe not. He does have quite a few shares here. Looks like he has, if I can break that down, 17 million. So he just bought 9 million. That is more, more than he had. I think that's a 100% increase. So folks, it looks like a telltale sign to me that something could be going on with this company. Not only are they increasing in revenues, but you've got someone who's just bought a ton of shares without any fresh news out there. Something could be coming. Let's go take a look at that chart and see if it's a buy-in opportunity right now. So we're checking out WVE on the six month, four hour chart. We got a high back here of $5.22 and a low, maybe a month ago of $1.16. She's been far under the 200, but she has been respecting the 50. She's been hugging that, getting over it a little bit. And then she hit this low bubble and maybe there's news, maybe there's not. This could be the catalyst. It looks like that is when the bounce occurred. We can see that right off of that low bubble, she started getting some momentum, pushed herself over the 20, up onto the 50, fought that 50, and once she got a solid foot there, just lurched up onto that 200. I mean, that's where she wanted to be. She is now settling in, and now it looks like she's taking off again. Volume has been pretty strong and getting stronger here. MACD shows a positive crossover above the signal line. RSI is in the 60s. CCI is above the third line on the top, which is good, but it is pointing down, meaning that it's pulling back currently. Let's look at that 20-day, one-hour view. So it was, uh, there's that low bubble. Well, that's actually $1.18, so the low is probably right there at $1.16. Slowly, ever so slowly, she was climbing up. Got near the 200 on the one hour, fell away from it, and then bounced and launched herself. Has been going sideways a few days. Today she had a good bounce, but has given most of it right back. Technicals were blazing, but are really cool now. But look at that volume. There is no doubting that volume is increasing on a regular basis. Our 200 here now is swooping up, ready to carry the price up with it. Look at that five day, five minute. So there's your sideways days, hanging on to the 200, it's come to it. And then she jumped yesterday, had a jump in the middle of the day, went sideways really hard, waiting for the 50 it looks like, because as soon as it tagged that 50, she was off and running again. She did have a drop just before the bell, looks like she was gonna throw it all away and then just took off. Let's see if it was right at the bell. It was right at the bell. She went into high gear. And this finished at 11%. However, from let's look from yesterday's close. Yesterday's close was $2. And it got up to $2.79. So you're looking at about 35% gains at her high. And she threw most of that away and is hovering above that 200 right now. Technicals don't look like they have anything to give. But we're not looking at this to run tomorrow. We're not looking at it to run, well, anytime until news comes out. That's the whole point here. People saw something today. That's why we had this nice bounce, 35% and then a fall away. 
that was a $20 million purchase of this stock. Yes, yes, it was a little bit ago, but he's buying, trying to get ahead of what? A deal? Something that's going to transpire? I have no clue what it is, but you don't go investing $20 million. Now, maybe he may have bought it, and we're not going to overlook this. I should put this out there because I could be completely wrong, but he may have bought this <laughs> just because it hit a low bubble. Just because it hit that $1.16, it started to come up. He bought it at $2.15. Where was that? Boy, he bought it way up here. Yeah, about right there is where he bought it, $2.15. So he didn't catch the low bubble, but he did see it break that low bubble and start pulling away. So maybe he bought it because of the low bubble. That's what you would call a confirmation. You want to make sure she's not going to fall anymore, especially if she's been falling for a long time. And this shows signs of growing now. So he probably bought in here. Of course, he could have saved a lot of money buying it down here for a dollar cheaper, right? Absolutely. Something could maybe possibly happen. I put WVE on your watch list and keep up with the news. Now we're taking a look at SHOM, ticker S-H-O-M. This is Southern Home Medical Inc. Now SHOM has had some buzz built around it the last week since the 17th. Now she hasn't got a catalyst per se. There's been no press releases, no filings. What we do have is a single tweet on the 17th from the company after a long period of silence. And there wasn't really even a lot stated in it, but it's got this stock running. And yes, today is the 22nd, and that tweet came out on the 17th. So I really don't know what to tell you. I've looked around. There is nothing else new out there, with the exception of a new tweet that came out today. However, I don't even think this tweet made it during market hours. So as far as I can tell, this company was running on days old tweet, a stale tweet, expectation, speculation, and hope. So Sham finished today at 0024 with 166% gains. She's on the pink tier. She's current. Got those ever precious green ticks. I tell you to always look for a verified profile and a transfer agent, especially on a pink. That's bonus information you can count on being righteous. Problem here is, is that she's a shell risk. That means she's in business and should be reporting revenues. But as you can see right there, there is no revenues of any kind. Dead in the water which is probably why there's so much excitement around this, because there has been a long period of silence, they are a shell risk, and the company's kind of teasing us that whatever change is coming should be better and improve their revenues, right? So what was the relative volume around this company today? Well, she normally does seven and a half million. Today she did 282 million. That's a huge jump. Break out the calculator, you wanna figure it out. Share structure on this medical coach company. Woo! Oh, my God. All right. Some will say that is a low float, those on Twitter. And I'm not here to argue with you. I don't think so. Call it whatever you want. It is 1.1 billion shares. That's what it is. Financials we just took a peek at. Disclosures. I don't think there's anything but their quarterly reports and financials. No, we've got nothing over here. And as I said... There is no current news. There is news, and it's all about working in the medical uh, fields, uh, but nothing current. All we have is a tweet, and this tweet came out on the 17th. Sham, we know we've been quiet for a while. A lot has been made behind the scenes. Expect an update soon. There's just nothing there except they've been quiet for a long time. Let's actually take a look at their site. All right, there, there's their newest tweet. We don't want to overlook that. Good afternoon, Sham shareholders. We're excited to get our journey started. We are working on four different developmental projects with a key focus on asset building. More details early next week. <laughs> Folks, these people are perfect piano players. Man, they are making music. They are giving us enough information to keep the heat going without really giving us any facts. Now, I'm only saying this. I'm just talking between friends here. You got to remember that Twitter is not a legally binding place to say anything. 
a PR, you say something there, you got to pretty much stick to it. But here, they could change their mind. They could go from four different developmental projects to one. Something happened. I mean, you know what I'm saying. But in either case, here's another tweet that came out an hour ago. It's about 6 o'clock here. So this came out after the market closed. A super tickler. This is going to get the investors chiming some more. So we could see another bounce tomorrow. And just so you can see what the sentiment is on Twitter or across the market. And I like to think of it as across the market. All right, a couple of facts here. We might be able to trust the DD. Always take it with a grain of salt. Good place to start your DD is here. It's a good lead. Uh, partnership with Langsty. Update on healthcare app. Update on business plan. Those are the catalysts. Facts, no dilution, no debt, no reverse split. Those are all good things to know about the company. Uh, let's see if we have any real news here. Looking strong, coming shortly. Um, been telling you, man, Sean, I'm about to go crazy this year. Uh, good afternoon. There's them. People watching the charts, looking for that breakout. And boy, did we have one today. Sean could run 200% today. That was five hours ago. Didn't quite get that high, but it did get up there, didn't it? Or did it? I'm not quite sure. Let's go take a look at that chart and see how high it did get. Looks like Sham had a tremendous day. This is a six-month, four-hour chart for SHOM. She has a high back here of 0035 and a low a few days ago of 0005. She was above the 200, but once she fell below it, she stuck underneath it and has pretty much been riding the 50, downtrending all the way until she hit that low bubble. Now, that low bubble hit on the 15th. Here is the 16th. Looks like we've got a bounce off of that low bubble. Now, I'm kind of curious. That is a 52-week low bubble, folks. That draws in investors to look at a stock. So we could easily be getting a bounce off of the low bubble simply because of the low bubble. The 16th that was climbing, and then a very timely tweet comes out on the 17th, giving that low bubble burst an extra boost got on top of the 50 and yesterday shot up and now is on top of the 200 going to the moon. Looks really great. Technicals are screaming. Everything is pointed up and still climbing. Volume was tremendous today and on the 17th. Let's come down to that 20 day one hour view. Really flat here, just hanging on to the 50, hit that low bubble, bounced off of it, not a lot, but it did come back up, sideways the rest of the day, started the climb the day before, and then yesterday it really didn't do anything but hang around the new 200-day SMA that's come into the picture. It has really settled there, and then today it took off without any prodding, pushing, any new tweets. Woo! She was flying. Let's go take a look at that five-minute, five-day chart. So she wasn't doing anything for a while. Now, maybe it's quite possible. Maybe there is a comment out there on someone else's Twitter account that came from the company. That is possible. It may not show up just where we were looking. So something may have happened right here. There may have been a little piece of information, but there is no news, no filings, and I didn't see anything that I could find. In either case, it did take off here at about, what time is that? Noon. Noon. Once everybody was done with their... Uh, morning activities this took off and she just climbed the rest of the day i mean she did have a dip here bouncing off the 20 she rolled that 20 up grinding through it and then took off again her high today was double zero two five with a low three four five days ago of triple zero five so you're looking at a 500 percent gain there folks in the last five days this company has had 500 percent gains with no catalyst one tweet and now they've put out a second tweet telling us they have four projects that they're going to update us on next week so you may want to watch this stock for more running it could dip and you could get a better price but i'll tell you what it's tough to uh stop speculation i have noticed that when people think good things are going to happen they're willing to spend money on it when they hear exactly what the good thing is eh, i'll wait 
So speculation seems to be more of a driving force in the market than the actual facts of the deed done. So I keep my eye on this. Looks to me like the management knows how to play the market investor, how to keep us interested and wanting to get in. So yeah, Sham, it should be on your list. This could run some more before the news comes out. And what's gonna happen when the news does come out? Well, that depends. If this keeps running, 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 when the news comes out, the value will probably already be built in. Worse yet, they may say to themselves, we overshot and it could dip hard on the news of the deals themselves. So I like to play speculation more than facts. All right, let's go take a look at another one. Last stock we're taking a look at is one you should put on your watch list under imminent events. Something's bound to happen here real soon. And I'm going to show you how I know that. This is VEDU, VDU, Visionary Education Technology Holdings. They finished today at $1.73 with 48% gains. They're a penny stock on the NASDAQ. Now, as far as I can tell, this is an online teaching company. It's an education company that works up in Canada. And they just IPO'd May 17th. And they came on the market at $4. Now, we had a news press that came out just a couple of days ago. And really, there's not a lot more information I can give you here because there's just not been anything brought in. It's so new. But I do have that news. They tell us here that the quiet period for the company is about ready to end on Monday, June 27th. They tell us how many shares they sold at $4 each. And it jumped. It jumped hard when it first opened up, but it has fallen hard too. Matter of fact, it has fallen all the way down to $1.05 as their low. But the day they opened up, they hit $28. Yeah, came on at $4, went to $28, and has now dropped down to $1.05. But here's what's going on. Once this quiet period ends, the underwriters that worked on the IPO right now are restricted from issuing any earnings forecasts or research reports for the company because of the SEC regulations. However, following the end of the quiet period, the brokerages that served as underwriters will most likely initiate research coverage on the company. So you're looking at a ceiling of $28 when it first came out and $1.05 on its low. And we haven't had any more information since they came on the market. It's been a quiet period. So on the 27th, Monday, next week, they're going to start talking. We're going to get numbers. And I don't know what sort of information we're going to get. But there's a reason that they're told not to talk about it because it's vital information. So you may want to watch this stock. Let's go take a look at that chart and see what a $4 to $28 jump looks like. So we are looking at a, well, that's all the chart for VDU. This goes back to May 17th right there. She did hit $28 just at the bell. She was at 4 and jumped very fast. And even faster the very next day, she crashed and burned fell all the way down here, which is far underneath where she opened. We are now under two bucks. And she's been flat down here for a long time. Let's look at that 20 day, one hour. We get any activity? She's riding the 50, but falling down. Hit a low here, bounced up, fell again. Had a jump right here. Actually got through the 200. Not quite sure what happened on that day, considering it's a quiet period. That is the 15th of this month. And then she has fallen, and today she has jumped. And today, the 22nd. Is there anything on the 20th? No, the 20th was the weekend. 20th was the weekend, so we didn't get anything here for Tuesday, but she did jump today. I don't know if people just found the article or what. However, the whole point now is to put VEDU on your watch list because on the 27th, whatever they report, may get the stock running. You may get yourself a jump. And between now and then, well, we've got two more days, right? Watch the stock. See if she dips. See if she falls down to the 200. Comes down here to maybe uh, right there, $1.44. That, that would be a nice spot for her to come down to. I could see that happening. Technicals are definitely weak and falling. So if you're interested, do a little bit of DD on this. See what the company's about. I haven't done a whole lot. But with that news release on the 27th that they weren't allowed to tell us, there could be something valuable in there.
could put some cha-ching in your pocket. All right, so I tried to take care today not to just show you stocks that have already run and the game is over on them. No, we looked at one, CMGR. That was definitely a runner on its news today. Whoa, almost 900% gains. And the funny thing is, is I honestly looked at that news and went right by it. Never even gave it a second thought. And by the time I came and looked at that stock, I was like, oh my God. And you know, when it's already up 350%, you don't expect it to really go to 800% so it doesn't look like a great entry so I missed my ride but the other three there are seats still available friends those have not run yet those are imminent events waiting to occur I've shown you things that people are excited about tweets have come out about news articles have come out about put them on your watch list watch the volume watch the news when you start to see it move get in we've already seen that there are people around these stocks when things start to occur you might as well gain on it and that one sham watch for it tomorrow folks see if sham doesn't run this management seems to know how to put out information just enough to really get you excited but you don't know anything more than you did five minutes ago and that's okay by me all i want to see is the stocks go up and the volume go up and i'm happy Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.